Hello. Um, so we are going to describe a giraffe. We are going to have a quick description about the outside structure of a giraffe and also the inside structure of a giraffe. Now let's start with the outside. So first of all, giraffes have good eyesight. They see in color. Some animals don't see in color, but giraffes do see in color. They also have excellent hearing to listen for predators and other giraffes. Their ears are so huge, they can hear very well from meters, from far distances. And they listen out for predators and also they use it to communicate with other giraffes. They, I say the spots radiate heat. You know the spots on the giraffe, you say the spots radiate heat provide camouflage and indicate the status and type of giraffe so this is something new that we've learned today giraffe's body scent can be smelled from two twin what 250 meters away 250 meters away that is very 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 incredible so giraffe's body scent can be smelled from 250 meters away which alert other giraffes to their presence. The smelly chemicals also have antimicrobial properties to prevent infection. So we have two importance of the body sense of giraffes. It, 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 I would say it, it helps other giraffes far away to locate them and it also protects them from infections because of the antimicrobial properties this body scent has. Now let's learn another thing. See, the skin can't twitch like a horse can. So the tail has long thick hair at the end of at the end to flick away flies. So um just 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 to remind you of this, the skin of a horse can twitch and by its twitching it prevents flies from landing on them but giraffe don't have those those properties so they use their tails which has a very thick hair very very thick hair so they use it to protect their body when they feel uncomfortable with flies landing on their skin now had flat hooves the front ones are bigger to support the heavy neck so you remember the neck of the giraffe is very long and heavy it puts enormous weight on their anterior part of their body so their front flat hooves their front ones are bigger you know to support the heavy weight which is in front of them and it's the heavy weight is caused by the long neck this is also something good to to, to learn about a giraffe the tight skin act like a G suit to stop blood from pulling in the feet. Oh, okay, that's nice. And it says a long, strong neck to reach high leaves. Males hate each other with their neck when biting. Yes, males hate each other, and they they, they normally fight over females. So that is what male giraffes sometimes do. So this is a quick outside description of a giraffe now let's look at the inside description of the giraffe so it says inside a giraffe looking at the um, bony structure of a giraffe it has a skull with air spaces reduce weight so the skull of a giraffe has air spaces and this air spaces helps reduce the weight of the skull they also have oscones that's bony horns that help cushion the brain during head banging context. You remember when describing the outside structure of the giraffe, we said the male giraffe usually do head banging contest in order for uh, uh, to woo a female. Now, when doing this, because of those bony horns, also called ossicons, it helps cushion the brain during the head banging contest to prevent concussion or brain injury. They have seven neck bones, like all other mammals, except sloth and uh, 
manates, uh, manates. So they have seven neck bones, just like human beings. The only difference is the neck bones of the um, giraffe, that is the seven vertebrae, are longer. They are about 25 centimeters longer. So that is why they have that very long neck. The neck is held naturally upright by the strong nuchal ligament. Wow, that's good. That's something new I've learned today. The spinal cord is up to 2.6 meters. That is 8.5 8 feet long. Wow, 2.6 meters. That's a very long giraffe spinal cord. That's a very long, very, very long one. Well, um, I may be wrong and I stand to be corrected, but this looks like the longest. Oh, look at the giraffe looking at us here. <laughs> Probably it, 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 heard us, it heard us talking about them. Look at them, just looking at us. Oh, yes, we are describing the, 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 the inside bony structure of you guys, okay? That's the description we are giving here. Thanks, thanks for coming to say hi. Thanks for coming to say hi. Now let's continue with our description. <laughs> okay, so uh, long, wide, dense leg bones, you know, for support, height, and strength. Then this muzzle, you no, know, the muzzle of giraffe, see, this muzzle has to contract to pull the neck down when it relaxes, that is bowling. The neck swings up back. Okay, so, you know, the, the, the neck muscles of the giraffe contract whenever the giraffe bow down its head. That is, it contracts and it extends when the giraffe lifts up, lifts up its head. So this is the uh, bony structure, um, bony structure uh, explanation of the giraffe. Now let's look at um, the other anatomical structure of the giraffe. So first of all, starting from the head, the nose lining acts like a mini refrigerator, cooling the blood through evaporation. That is, that is incredible. The nose lining of the giraffe acts as a mini refrigerator, cooling the blood through evaporation. When the neck is raised and lowered, this red marabell, that is wonderful neck, blood vessels act like blood pressure valve controlling the blood flow to and from the brain. Wow, wow. Now the larynx, let's learn. The larynx nerve connects the brain to the larynx, to the larynx, and the larynx here is a voice box. But bizarrely, it loops right down via the heart. Enormous lungs take in 15 liters of air, 30 times more than the human heart. So this is the heart of the giraffe, okay? It, sorry, uh, uh, this is the lungs, sorry, not the heart. This is the lungs of a giraffe and it takes in 15 liters of air and that is 30 times more than the human lungs. It's so huge, it's so massive. Four stomach, the four stomachs, just like cows have, giraffe also chew the cat. So giraffe are ruminants, okay? So um, giraffes are herbivores and they chew the cat, they are ruminants, okay? So they are part of the um, ruminant group of animals. They have intestines averaging 76 meters. So their intestines, the, the, the length of the giraffe's intestine is 76 meters. Very, very long, 76 meters. The heart of a giraffe weighs 11 kilos and pumps blood as twice as human blood pressure. And this is the heart of the giraffe. It weighs 11 kilos, 11, it's so massive. It weighs 11 kilos and it can pump a hard palate instead of the upper front teeth. So giraffe have a hard palate instead of the upper front teeth. They don't have the upper front teeth. They have just 
a hard palate. So the tongue of a giraffe is about 45 centimeters long and almost black. It has tiny spines on it, it helps break leaves. So on the on the on the um, upper part of the giraffe tongue is what a tiny spine and this tiny spine helps it to grip leaves you know when eating okay so um that is an incredible thing now the last thing we're going to learn about a giraffe it says the leg veins have one way valve to prevent blood from flowing backward oh so the leg vein of a giraffe has a one-way valve to prevent blood from flowing backwards. Giraffes are incredible creatures. They are fantastic animals.